Hey guys, it's me. We're going to go over tomorrow's workout uh, for Thursday. We have a fun one. It's supposed to be nice outside, so I want you to get some uh, fresh air in your lungs. Uh, we have in the way of the thing. We have uh, a 20 minute AMRAP and it's going to be a 200 meter run. If you, you could use your Google apps if you don't know how to do that because I'm pretty clueless with my phone as well. Um, you could run for one minute. So what you would do is you would run for 30 seconds at a pretty decent pace, mark off where that turnaround point is and use that as your reference point each and every time. Um, you could do the same thing for the 400 meter run. You would run for about one minute. And when I say run, I don't mean jog at a leisurely pace. This could be part of your warm up. You would run for one minute. You would mark off that turnaround spot and that would be your 400 meter run. So you would need both a 200 and a 400 turnaround point. So you're gonna start with a 200 meter run. Then you're gonna grab your kettlebell or dumbbell and do 20 sumo deadlift high pulls. Sumo, you always go with that wide stance, narrow grip. Bend it down, popping those hips and yanking it up to your chin, making sure your back never rounds, okay? Then you're gonna, after the 20 sumo deadlift high pull, you're gonna go out for a 20, I mean, sorry, a 400 meter run. Then you have 50 meters of a waiter's walk. 50 meters is halfway to where your 100 meters walk is. You're gonna walk to that halfway point with your hand up in the air, walking down all the way. And when you're there, you're gonna switch arms and you're gonna come back. You can always use a dumbbell or you can use an odd object. Okay, then you're gonna go for a 200 meter run. Then when you get back, you have 20 no burpee, no, yeah, no push-up burpee snatches. So you're gonna put your weight right in the middle. You're gonna jump out to a plank position, come back in and snatch it up, okay? And then burpee, plank, and snatch it up on the other side. And you're gonna go for 20 times. Go back out for that 400 meter run and then you're going to do 20 sit-ups. You could use your ab mat. If you don't have an ab mat, you could easily fold up either a sweatshirt or a towel and put it under your back, okay? Just make sure, as always, your shoulders are coming in front of your hips. Um, for a warm-up, we do have, I suggest incorporating some of that running into your warm-up so you can figure out the distances, but you have three dumbbell snatches, eight Russian kettlebell swings, so right to your side. The, four, uh, the eight dumbbell snatches, it's four on each side. So you're just gonna take that weight, you're gonna do four reps on one side, you could do dumbbell kettlebell, odd object, that's fine. And then you're gonna go eight Russian kettlebell swings, right to your eye, light, eye, eye sight length and then four goblet squats with a two second pause in that bottom, making sure you keep that chest up, pushing those knees out as you come up, and four yoga push-ups. So really use this time to stretch here, come through, I like coming through to that arch position, and then push it back, just get that nice stretch. Have a good workout today, um, we have I'm gonna say Nelson at 10, and then we have uh, Emily at 5.30. So I will see you on Friday, guys. Bye.